Now, how did Iga Swiatek win her second WTA 1000 title in a row? Let's break it down in the tennis breakdown. It comes down to three main reasons, in my opinion. Number one, the serving. Number two, the core positioning. And number three, the defense. So if we talk about the serving and we talk about the first serve win percentage, uh, Schwantek was about 65% and Sakari was at about 60% of winning points on their first serve. Now, if we talk about the second serve, that's where we start to see a big difference. Now, Schwantek won about 41% of the points on her second serve, Sakari only 20%. And that is a huge difference. So, and we saw, we saw Sakari, uh, we saw both players actually struggling to hold serve, especially early on the match, but as the match progressed, the fact that Sakari wasn't able to win uh, almost any points on her second serve. She only won five points out of 25 in the entire match on her second serve. And that's part of the reason why she got broken so often in the, in the match, because she wasn't able to get much traction on that second serve. Which brings us into tip number two. But before I do, we have to understand though that the serve sets up the foundation for the rally, right? And then we get into the actual rallying part, and this is where Schwantek did a really good job of moving Sakari around. So the one thing you have to understand about Sakari is that she is an aggressive baseliner. So she loves being able to be in control from the baseline. So she loves setting up her big shots and being able to be aggressive with those. So Schwantek moved her around a whole lot to get that ball out of her strike zone. So let's go ahead and head over to the breakdown desk where we are going to take a look at just that. So again, when we move players around, so when we move players around, we make it much harder for them to set up their best shot. So for an aggressive baseliner like Sakari here, it's really tough for her to, to really find her groove if she's constantly being moved around. So let's go ahead and take a look at this rally. And we're gonna take a look at three, sorry, two main things that um, Shriantek does really well to break down the Sakari baseline game. Okay, perfect. So, so that's about that's good so far. So let's go ahead and actually break it down. So there are two things, as I mentioned, that we want to take a look at. Number one is how well Shriantek really defends that baseline. Okay. So let's just take a look at rule at Shriantek real quick and look at how close she stays to that baseline. She tries not to get pushed back in that rally. And that part is really key because when you defend the baseline so well, and when you stay really close to the baseline, it, it makes you take that ball earlier and it takes time away from your opponent, right? So meaning it takes time away from Sakari to set up her shots. And as an aggressive baseliner, it's tough because if you have less time to set up, it's going to be harder to hit your highest quality shot. So Shriantek did a really good job on that. And the second part here is when we talk about the movement of Sakari, moving her around is again, making it much tougher for her to set up her best shot. So if we go back just a few shots, you can see first uh, Shriantek did a really good job serving that ball out wide. So again, she's serving that ball out wide first, right? Then we get one or two shots down the middle. And then on the next one, um, she's, she's pushing Sakari out of the middle again. Then Sakari defends. Now she hits that ball at, at an even sharper angle. Again, moving Sakari. And as you can see here, she's moving. Sakari is moving more sideways. And once again, the entire point here is get Sakari out of position, make it harder for her to move forward and be aggressive with that shot. So moving her around again. Then on one of the next shots, Shriantek changes direction, once again, moving Sakari around, making it tougher for her to hit her best shots, and she's only able to hit those shots down the middle. So, because Shriantek took the ball early by defending the baseline, and moving Sakari around that much to get that ball out of her strike zone and make it tougher for her to be aggressive, she eventually broke down the Sakari base, uh, baseline game. So we have point number one, taking advantage of the weaker second serves of Sakari in that match, and the fact that she threw in quite a few double faults, then taking the ball early and moving her around a lot to make it harder for her to be offensive. And now, which brings us into the third point, and that's the defense. Now, before I get into it, go ahead and smash that like and subscribe button and check out some of the other coaching videos on my channel to help level up your game. Now, the defense part is this. Two things we have to understand first. Number one, if you want to be aggressive and if you want to finish, you want to be further inside the court. 
the, the further you are inside the court, the easier it should be for you to finish and be aggressive. Now, the second thing to that is when you're defending, you are a lot more likely, likely to hit something shorter or weaker. So because Shviante was able to get so low and she's so athletic, she was able to keep those defensive shots deeper, making it much tougher for Sakari to actually move inside the court. So because Shviante was holding her back, uh, Sakari was not able to finish as many points as she wanted to because she was held back further in the court, making it tougher for her to finish and win the point. So really, really important aspect here is you want to try to get nice and low when you're defending because the lower you get, the more stability you have and the more stability you have, the more control you will have over your shots. And you should click this video that I'm going to link in the description below to know how to handle tough, aggressive, deep balls. Now, that brings us to the conclusion here, and that's, the, that's just the recipe of weaker second serves on the Sakari uh, side this match. We have the movement and the core positioning of Shvantec, and then of course we have the defensive skills, and that brings us to her second WT1000 titles in a row. And go ahead and click this video if you want a breakdown of some other matches that happened at Indian Wells. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one.